Okay, the aim of this brief tutorial is just to show you how quick it is to sign up to your SWBGS Google account and get yourself set up ready to use our new system. So, from first class here, having uh, open in student area, the activating your SWBGS Google account instructions and read them through carefully, what you're obviously going to do is want to uh, log on to realsmart.swbgs.com. Now, I note in the instructions that you need to be using a modern up-to-date browser. Basically, if you're still using Internet Explorer, get Chrome. It's free, it's faster, it's more stable, uh, and all of Google's tools that we'll be using increasingly over the coming weeks and months are designed to run on Chrome. Now, what you need to do is you need to sign in using the username uh, that has been generated for you. This is absolutely standard, and again, my instructions set out how to find this. The first four letters of your surname is what you need to start with. So I'm going to log on here as uh, Fraser Ashman in my tutor group. So A S H M, the first four letters of Ashman, followed by F for Fraser, and Fraser being in year 13, the year in which his cohort began at secondary school was 2007. Um, if you're in year seven, that's going to be 2013. So earlier today. Nancy Dean in my tutor group signed on with D-E-A-N, uh, Dean, uh, and then N, uh, 2013. But let's be Fraser here, so Ashmuth, 2007, password for now, to set simply to password. Everybody gets in very simply like that. Log on. Now, wherever you are, hopefully you've got a faster connection than me. That's uh, worked pretty nicely. But here we are. Hi, Fraser Ashman. We've come through. Now, what I'd like to do once you get through to our website is I would like you to click on the Change My Profile function and set yourself a new password. Get away from having password as your password. So, existing password, of course, password there. In these two boxes, type in uh, your new password. So, type it there, retype it there and save down at the bottom. Fantastic. What's most important, once you're through, is that you uh, confirm you accept the terms of use. So just for now, click on this button here, take you to Google Drive, which we'll be doing uh, a lot with over the coming weeks and months, but for now, just click on it. You'll be invited to uh, accept the terms of your account. There we go. Uh, I accept to continue to my account. Very simple, very straightforward. And what's opening now is Fraser's uh, Google Drive account, 30 gigabytes of storage space there. Uh, a lot more to come on how to use that. But let's just close that for now. Okay, so so far we've got signed in. Uh, you'll have changed your uh, password. You'll have gone through, click on Drive, and you will have uh, acknowledged that you accept the terms of use. The only other thing I'd like you to do then to click through just here to the student area of the site and to complete the successful logon survey that's here. Very quick, very easy. Name here, drop down menu, say the tutor group that you're in, uh, and then basically just to get a bit of a sense as to how many students out there have been using Google Apps before and whether or not you'd like to train as a Google champion to help others to understand how to do this. Click submit and everybody's done. Sign out, and that's all I need for now. Remember that there is a prize and offer to the first tutor group to get everybody signed up. So do it, uh, and then help someone else to do it. Get it done as quickly as possible. Fraser, thanks for your help. I'm logging out now. Goodbye.